Good afternoon, everyone. Good Saturday afternoon to start discussing again on uh, world trade opportunities, growth, the exit forum with the great environment provided by uh, all the stakeholders in the region. I am sure many of us have read in the last month or so and somebody will question either Mr. Kudurilaji or something what is happening with the world trade, what is happening with this trade war and uh, how secure we are. Probably lately yesterday that NEIS will go down from 1st July are some of the questions which are being, uh, you know, it will direct affect the industry and the trade of the country for sure. So, so I'm sure we will come to that. But uh, before that, uh, first I would request our President, uh, Mr. Atul Pandey, to please uh, welcome uh, Vice President Mr. Rajesh Srivastava, EEPC, uh, Regional Director for the Western Region. I can say Mr. Rajat Srivastava is an expert, especially when it comes to engineering exports uh, council and we are doing a great job. Welcome to us. I also request Mr. Arupan to welcome Shri Kuruvilla Ji uh, on behalf of BIA. He is advisor to the World Trade Center in uh, Mumbai. I also request her to welcome Ms. Sunita Sindhwani. She is the Chief General Manager of Exim Bank. And also request him to welcome Mr. Dinesh Daga, who is DGM of uh, MSAMD. <laughs> welcome to Nagpur. So, uh, World Trade Center has actually taken this opportunity, they celebrated as a World Trade Day. And for this reason, we have different experts and speaker panelists from uh, across uh, the board, which will be sharing with us more on that. I would request uh, Mr. A.O. Kuruvilla, advisor to WTC, for his welcome address. Good afternoon to all of you. Once again, we are in uh, Nagpur with uh, VIA. It's always a joy for us to come back to. VIA because uh, their association with the World Trade Center is excellent. And I can tell you, with uh, a few four phone calls, everything will be in order. Um, so it's our privilege to associate once again with the with the financial association to organize this uh, unique program. Uh, you may be recollecting that last year we have a World Trade Day program. Uh, some of you might have participated that. We want to sensitize the MSME sector about the prospects in the international trade. That's the main aim by which uh, the World Trade Day has started. Um, many of the World Trade Centers are celebrating worldwide um, of uh, this uh, initiation that has uh, uh, that has actually uh, giving facility to the MSME sector. Um, as I know, MSME sector is a uh, very important for any economy uh, in the uh, world. Uh, when you talk about MSME sector, uh, in India we know that um, it is actually uh, contributing 38% um, of the GDP and around 45% of the total manufacturing output and 40% share of the overall export and it has a huge potential by itself to expand. Now, when you talk about international trade, it offers promising opportunities for MSME sectors to diversify their source of revenue, improve scale of operation, identify alternative sources of raw materials, and improve productivity. Several Asian countries have attained remarkable economic growth driven by internationalization of their countries. In, in, in India itself, if you examine international trade has benefited SMEs a lot, especially we talk about women entrepreneurs, industry clusters, especially in leather, textile, agro products and handicrafts. We see that uh, there are a lot of changes happening and uh, uh, even the policy makers are very keen to take these uh, initiations to the global level. 
However, as we know that SMEs still struggle to create a footprint in the international market, um, mainly because uh, they find a difficulty in accessing trade credit, stringent uh, global quality standards, ignorance about foreign market opportunities, and complex procedures for exports. The determinants of uh, SMEs in the global market are significant, significantly different from those in the domestic market. Competitiveness of SMEs in the global market is determined by their adherence to strict delivery timelines, conformity to global standards, changes in exchange rates, cost of shipping and logistics, among others. You may be knowing that India's trade for the period last year, 2017-18, was around the US dollar 70 billion, uh, out of which uh, exports was around 303 billion and balance is uh, imports. The government uh, aims to increase with uh, India's exports of merchandise and services up to at least to US dollar 900 billion by 2020. And India's share in the world exports to raise from the meager 2% to 3.5%. 3 3 so there's a long way to go. And SMEs have to be geared up to attain this vision of the government. As I told you, the World Trade Center Mumbai's uh, World Trade Day will discuss imperatives for enhancing SMEs' formatives in the global market. World Trade is a noteworthy event in the calendar of several members of World Trade Center Association, namely World Trade Center Atlanta, World Trade Center Denver, World Trade Center Miami. The event celebrates the significance of international trade in economic development and discuss opportunities and challenges for connecting SMEs to the global market. In India, World Trade Center Mumbai is celebrating World Trade Day 2018 across districts of Maharashtra to create awareness about the benefits of the international trade among SMEs. We have an uh, event already happened in five places of Maharashtra, and this is the last event uh, of this year. <coughs> it is, uh, we are concluding here in Nagpur. Some of you may be knowing that World Trade Center, which was established in 1971 in India, is a unique concept of bringing in all trade-related bodies under one roof to make it easy for entrepreneurs to do global business. WTC Mumbai is connected with uh, 330 World Trade Centers in over 90 countries around the world, making it as the world's largest business network. The advantage is that a member of World Trade Center will be automatically connected with all these World Trade Centers, making it easy for accessing the information and get assistance for global trade. WTC Mumbai also brings in unique skilling programs to equip uh, entrepreneurs in the different aspects of the global trade. We are launching a new program in entrepreneurship development in August 2018. Over 80 programs are organized at WTC Mumbai yearly, which is well attended by manufacturers, exporters, and entrepreneurs. We are having a special program on World MSME Day, that is on 27th June 2018 at WTC Mumbai. Uh, it is actually a special program for women entrepreneurs. It is also uh, initiated by the government of Maharashtra. I am sure some of the women entrepreneurs who are participating today should take advantage and you will be exposed to the latest opportunities and the policy initiatives the government is offering for women entrepreneurs. In fact, we are also getting a, a high-powered de delegation on the same day from Polish, uh, a ministerial delegation. They are also, you are most welcome to come and meet these people and exchange uh, your cards to explore the opportunities over there. Um, today we have eminent speakers uh, from the uh, Engineering and Sport Promotion Council, Exim Bank, also, we have a speaker from uh, MSMB. They will be all talking about how to take forward in international trade, how MSME can grow and take advantage of the various uh, 
initiatives the government is is introduced and where are the which are the products can be exported which are the markets is available how the finance can be um, rerouted and uh, what are the prospects in uh, even in the agriculture sector I am sure the deliberations will be of much uh, use to you to give up your export in order to help us to take forward your specific requirement in the MSME sector we have given you a questionnaire <coughs> as well as a feedback form which you can submit at the end of the uh, program so that it will we can take it forward your concern in the sector and uh, uh, bring to the notice of the authorities uh, uh, in the government. With this few words, uh, I will once again welcome you. Um, I don't know much of you, many of you have visited Mumbai and seen the World Trade Center. I will just take you to a video which talks about uh, what the, how is the World Trade Center, how, what are the services which you offer in a uh, seven minutes video. You can see and uh, uh, take advantage of the facility that we are offering, even though you are in a uh, uh, VIA is happy to help you out to get assistance from us so that it can be routed to you uh, and they are very eager to get your feedback in this matter. Thank you so much.
fine dining must be dressed. The key pillars of poor trade sentiment way are trade research, trade education, trade promotion, all supported by well-developed infrastructure for businesses to thrive. There is a fully equipped venue with modern facilities for conferences, arbitrations and training programs are part of the infrastructure. The centrally air-conditioned expo center is the most preferred exhibition venue for domestic and international trade and consumer shows. More than 60 international trade missions are hosted annually to connect local businesses globally. Discussions and dialogue meetings with experts on topical issues are organized regularly, which attract participants across India. The Global Economic Summit, the annual flagship event of the World Trade Center Mumbai, is attended by delegates from countries across continents and is an important event in the trade calendar of India. Mumbai World Trade Center is the most active in the facility and it conducts programs which are still unique. A well-updated trade library is popular among students and SMEs. Market research and sectoral studies conducted by World Trade Center Mumbai are often referred by trade and educational institutions. Postgraduate diploma courses on international trade, exposing both management, shipping and logistics, and special training programs for startups are most sought after by students as well as body entrepreneurs. <laughs> the World Trade Center Mumbai works closely with government agencies and other trade promotion organizations in facilitating trade for micro, small, and medium enterprises in India. Now, may I now invite Mr. Atul Party, President, Vidharva Industries Association, to kindly deliver this address on the significant occasion. Good afternoon, friends. Uh, first of all, I would like to extend a warm welcome on behalf of VIA to our Distinguished uh, panelists here, both headed by Mr. Kurvila, who has come all the way from Mumbai from on behalf of World Trade Center. Uh, I must tell you, friends, here that uh, we have had, uh, or it's almost four years running that we have, we are working together uh, as an extension uh, uh, to the Buddhist activities in Mumbai, and uh, we are trying to make humble contribution to their uh, network. Uh, uh, we have organized uh, a few programs so far, and a fairly successful program well responded by the, the target audience. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we also, I would like to welcome Mr. Rajesh Srivastava, uh, the Regional Director, Western Region for Engineering Export Promotion Council. Mr. Srivastava has been heading uh, uh, this uh, uh, Western Region, I think, for a very long time, and. Uh, even one of my group units also has had a privilege of being awarded for exports a few years back. So very vibrant setup, very helpful. They they all of their once you and this is interesting, once you show interest in a small scale industry or a medium enterprise, 
they go all out to help you out in uh, promoting your sports. Uh, I would also like to welcome Sunita Madam, uh, uh, Mrs. Siddhuat Silwani, who is the Chief General Manager of Exim Bank, a very senior authority from Exim Bank. All the way she's come here along with her colleague, Satur Reddy, here, who's sitting in the audience. Uh, he's heading the local branch here. And also, uh, I would like to welcome Mr. Dinesh Tada, Deputy General Manager of Maharashtra State Agricultural Marketing Board, right? This is a new organization that I'm, even I'm hearing for the first time. But I'm very happy that, that 